So hi friends, I am Dr. Anshul Bansal joining you on this Unacademy platform. Today's session is a rapid revision short video in 15 to 20 minutes. We will discuss jaldi jaldi se about shoulder dislocation very important for NEET PG. Frequently asked question on shoulder dislocations. Okay, so we will cover that. Okay, so uh, I am Dr. Anshul Bansal. I am currently working as an also orthopedic house surgeon in SMS Hospital Jaipur and I, I have cracked the same NEET PG examination last year that is in 2020. So let's start today's session and before starting jaldi jaldi se I will give you a brief introduction to all our paid uh, subscription plans available on an academy for NEET PG first is the plus subscription where you'll get access to all our live and recorded classes the queue banks you can study on your device on your choice for 12 months or more subscribers you will be getting printed notes uh, all the material is uh, made by India's top most faculty and you can compete in live test and quizzes and you can use this code to get extra 10% off the second one and the best one is the iconic subscription where you will get extra may the prep letter and all of its prep letter and on an academy other apart from the things mentioned earlier you will get well structured live batch wise courses and comprehensive printed notes you can use this code to get extra 10 percent off and uh, please join a special class special classes for join Carnegie, you just have to download the app and subscribe using my code, both of which are absolutely free. These are very good live interactive batch by live interactive classes where you'll get a classroom like feel. You can interact with your educators. And these are the following batches which we have started on an academy for FMG students, for 2022 NEET students, next students, and this year's NEET PG. For this year's NEET PG, we have also started a very special one month revision package, which is very good. And you can use this code to get extra 10% off. And we have a limited time period offer. If you buy any subscription plan of 12 months or more, you will get two months of it free. And on the four year subscription package, we are giving a heavy discount right now. So please go for this package and please go for the packages for longer duration of months because the per month cost decreases significantly if you increase your duration of subscription okay so let's quickly start today's lecture it is about shoulder dislocation so subse pehle, most common joint to be dislocated in the entire body is the shoulder dislocation so most common dislocation is that of the shoulder dislocation and shoulder dislocation may be most common is your anterior type rest in elbow and the hip the most common dislocation is the posterior type okay and you can see in the image this is your normal anatomy okay and yeah this is your normal anatomy this is your anterior dislocation bahar ki taraf aa rakha hai this is your posterior dislocation peeche ja raha hai very easily and uh, appreciable and shoulders jada dislocation kyu hota hai kyunki to permit more mobi mobility the uh, head is very large as compared to the glenoid cavity in which it articulates allowing more range of motions but also uh, making it prone to dislocations okay so most common is the anterior dislocation most common is the anterior dislocation so anterior dislocation may the head will come out like this so the uh, position or the uh, presenting feature where the shoulder will be abducted externally rotated okay abducted and externally rotated most commonly due to fall or an outstretched hand and posterior mein iska opposite ho jayega that is abducted and internally rotated okay uh, so firstly we'll uh, read about the anterior dislocation which is the most common okay head of the humerus will come out of the uh, glenoid cavity it is of three types preglenoid subcoracoid and subclavicular you can see here in the diagram okay here you can see it is preglenoid 
और सब सब ग्लिनॉइड प्री ग्लिनॉइड और सब ग्लिनॉइड दिस सब कोरेकॉइड दिस इज योर कोरेकॉइड प्रोसेस सब क्लेविकुलर एंड दिस इज योर इंट्राथोरेसिक सब कोरेकॉइड इज द मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ एंटीरियर डिसलोकेशन ओके एंटीरियर डिसलोकेशन में मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप इज योर सब कोरेकॉइड हियर यू कैन सी द एंटीरियर डिसलोकेशन बट इट इज इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब साइन बल्ब साइन और इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब साइन एंड दिस इज योर एम टी क्लिनॉइड साइन इन पोस्टीरियर डिसलोकेशन ओके वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ इसमें एक और चीज जो इंपॉर्टेंट है दैट इज योर मोड ऑफ इंजरी सो मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ दिस पोस्टीरियर डिसलोकेशन इज योर इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक और एपिलेप्टिस और एपिलेप्टिक पेशेंट्स आफ्टर एपिलेप्सी और सीजर और कन्वर्जन एक्सेट्रा सो इन इसकी अगर हिस्ट्री है पेशेंट में सो यू हैव हाई चांसेस ऑफ हैविंग पोस्टीरियर डिसलोकेशन ये सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है काम की पोस्टीरियर डिसलोकेशन में नाउ एक स्पेशल टाइप का डिसलोकेशन होता है विच इज रेयर कॉल्ड एज इन्फीरियर डिसलोकेशन एज यू कैन सी इन्फीरियरली बिलो दी ग्लिनॉइड and this is called as luxatio erecta okay naam aapko yaad rehna chahiye and the name is luxatio erecta very important now commoner is anterior so anterior mein uh, sometimes with dislocation there is some injury to the glenoid labrum or uh, the uh, head of the humerus okay so there are special type of lesions which are present and these are important for examination point of view zyada detailing mein two lines about kya hote hain and basically its radiological x ray ki image is very important for you uh, generally spot question type mein aayenge so first is your bankert's lesion bankert's lesion kya hota hai jab dislocation hota hai to there is glenoid labrum around the glenoid cavity there is a स्ट्रक्चर जो ग्लिनॉइड कैविटी को डीप कर देता है सो एज टू मेक द जॉइंट स्टेबल सो दैट ग्लिनॉइड समटाइम्स विद डिसलोकेशन देर इज एन इंजरी टू दिस ग्लिनॉइड लैब्रम लीडिंग टू इट्स स्ट्रिपिंग अलोंग विद द पेरियोस्टियम ऑफ द बोन एंड मोस्ट कॉमनली वेयर एट द एंटीरियो इंफीरियर सरफेस very important the location is very important at the anterior inferior surface and it occurs of at the glenoid labrum okay so it is very important and after the dislocation the head will lie in front of this scapular neck like ye diagram is very important the x ray this is anterior inferior you can see glenoid labrum and scapular neck ke niche this is your bankert's lesion and obviously if injury is severe with this periosteum and glenoid labrum sometimes a piece of bone can also get avulsed and this is called as bony bankert lesion okay now hill sex lesion if there is a depression at the humeral head in the posterior lateral quadrant ओके सी इसमें भी कहाँ पर होता है वो एंटीरियर इंफीरियर पे था दी बैंकर्स लीजन सी बैंकर्स लीजन इज एट दी एंटीरियर इंफीरियर एंड दी एंटीरियर बैंकर्स लीजन इज एट दी एंटीरियर इंफीरियर पार्ट एंड दी हिल्स एक्स लीजन इज एट दी पोस्टीरियर लेटरल पार्ट इफ यू जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस two images now you don't have to ratify this thing is say up you can see there is a depression here in the humerus at any kis ki wajah se hoga chronic impingement ki wajah se okay you can easily correlate with the shape of the uh, lesion ki chronic impingement 
due by the anterior edge of the glenoid after the re, uh, dislocation ye generally lesions unme dikhta hai hill sex and also rounding off in recurrent dislocation bar jisme bar bar impingement hota raha hai and what is rounding off in chronic or recurrent dislocation the anterior glenoid rim jo ho jati hai it becomes more rounded off okay so usme kya hota hai it is very easily dislocated and relocated ओके सो वो जो फिक्सेशन के लिए जो जो सॉकेट बनता है दैट सॉकेट बिकम्स लूज ड्यू टू द राउंडिंग ऑफ एट द एंटीरियर ग्लेनोइड रिम ओके सो ये राउंडिंग ऑफ कहां पे होगी राउंडिंग ऑफ विल बी एट द एंटीरियर ग्लेनोइड रिम हिल सेक्स लीजन एट द पोस्टीरियर लेटरल एंड द बैंकर्ड्स लीजन एट द एंटीरियर इनफीरियर पार्ट ओके ये नॉर्मल आना सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है सी हियर इज योर ह्यूमरल हेड दिस इज योर जीटी दैट इज ग्रेटर ड्यूप्रोसिटी दिस इज योर क्लेविकल जो स्कैपुला के एक्रोमियन प्रोसेस के साथ आर्टिकुलेट करके एक्रोमो क्लेविकुलर जॉइंट बनाता है दिस इज योर कोरिकॉइड प्रोसेस दिस इज योर ग्लेनोइड लैब्रम एंड दिस इज योर स्कैपुला ओके वी हैव डिस्कस दिस now diagnosis diagnosis generally you have to correlate with the history given by the patient of trauma or fall with the clinical features like pain swelling deformity yahan pe deformity kaise hogi in anterior it will be anterior ke andar it will be abducted and externally rotated uh, patient will not be able to support uh, to touch his opposite shoulder and also he will come like this uh, by supporting his injured upper limb with the opposite hand okay so and on examination x-ray ke sath you have to correlate this finding on examination you will find that normally this shoulder if you will feel it has a normal round contour but it is lost because the uh, head will get dislocated so this round uh, round contour of the shoulder will be lost and there will be full loss of move, uh, motion Now, दो बहुत important test है for the anterior dislocation or the shoulder dislocation. The first is the Dugas test. Normally क्या होता है Any normal person can touch the uh, opposite shoulder with the hand. Okay, but in Dugas test it will not be possible. Now second is the Hamilton ruler uh, ruler test because normally क्या होता है because of this round contour uh, ruler or scale cannot be placed in line on the lateral aspect of the arm but due to uh, dislocation there will be flattening of the shoulder so this can be placed like this in the image so it is Hamilton ruler. test okay as we have uh, discussed earlier that posterior dislocation usually uh, following uh, occurs following a convulsion okay and can also be missed on an x ray so you have to clinically diagnose it and what is the treatment of choice of any acute dislocation ya any dislocation uh, the treatment of choice is closed reduction preferably under ga followed by immobilization for 2 weeks okay this is your treatment of choice in any type of dislocation so shoulder dislocation ke liye we have basically many types of maneuvers but two are important jiske name aapko yaad rakhne hai first is your coaches maneuver first is your coaches maneuver second is your hippocrates maneuver okay ab uh, isme coaches maneuver you have to remember its sequence because uh, ye aa sakta hai sequence of coaches maneuver ki kiske baad kaise you uh, closely reduce it so yaad rakhna hai aapko by t1 okay t1 kaise first of all uh, see first of all you will give sustained traction like this because to relax the muscles at least 5 to 10 minutes it's very important then after sustained traction with flexed elbow you will first externally rotate the hand okay first you will by giving traction traction kabhi loose nahi hoga by externally rotating the hand then 
abducting it like this and then internally rotation okay so this is your coaches maneuver or say yoga to ache them sick click sound I got your contour say you say again you can see that anxious look and painful look of the patient vanishes automatically okay this is coaches maneuver second is hypocrites maneuver uh, in uh, semi abducted hand like this first traction they get you who use the foot the examiner uses the foot and uh, in the axillary cavity to relocate the shoulder so hypocrite me yeah they recognize me other than a greater tuberosity a fracture if the dislocation is associated with gray fracture greater tuberosity you use this maneuver okay now complications obviously nerve injury that is the axillary nerve and it will lead to deltoid muscle the paralysis uh, regimental bed sign etc and late complications may uh, it is the commonest joint to undergo recurrent dislocation so most common late complication is recurrent dislocation okay and now treatment for in case of recurrent dislocation you have different types of surgical treatments but you have to remember the name and the names are putty plat operation the bankers operation and the bristos operation okay bus itta hi yaad rakhna there is one question that is the most influential factor in recurrent dislocation at the time of primary dislocation is okay so the answer for this question will be the age first dislocation ke time page or age of the patient hoti hai, it is the most influential fracture to uh, die prognosis for the prognosis of the recurrent dislocation ke chances and jesse jitti age come hoti hai utta hi chances of recurrent dislocation zada hota hai okay so this was all about shoulder dislocation in just 15 minutes i guess i'll take your two minutes only now um youtube live class we have tomorrow a marathon session for high yield mcqs okay to to our sake upon hoops are mcqs karenge need pg kile then on fifth sunday at 4 pm we'll have the marathon rapid revision in two days i'm planning to make you revise the entire orthopedics for need pg okay we'll take 3.5 hours ke two sessions part one on youtube on fifth sunday and part two on special class on sixth monday okay also special class ke liye aap just download the app and subscribe using this code both of which are absolutely free okay so i hope you like the video if you like please like share and subscribe while subscribing on an academy you can use this code eat healthy achhe se padai karni hai okay sleep nicely and all the best